It's two o'clock on the dot, rolling my drop top, cruising the street. Good morning, happy Friday. Today is, hold on. <laughs> Today is Friday, November 10th. Oh, 10 more days until my birthday. This morning, I was just in my office and just editing some content, getting some work done. And Eddie uh, busts in my office and he's like, why didn't you wake me up? And I'm like, wake you up for what? You don't, you never wake up this early because I'm very much an early bird. And he's like, we're supposed to be going to the thing this morning. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? And it's, it's like a antique thing that I sent him on TikTok a couple weeks ago. I sent him TikToks and Instagram reels probably like 20, 30 times a day, not even, ex not even exaggerating. Um, and sometimes like if he sees something that he's interested in or I send him something like a restaurant or just something cool to do, then he'll put it on the calendar or I'll put it on the calendar. It's just like making sure we make the time to get in the activity or whatever. Cause if it's not on the calendar, it's not happening. We have literally missed entire concerts because it was not on the calendar and we just forgot. So we're going to Scott's Antique Booths. I think that's the name of it. I just found it on TikTok as I was scrolling and it was just like something cool that we decided that we wanted to do because we're very much into like antiques, vintage stuff, whether it be like clothes, home decor, anything like that. We just are really into finding unique, interesting, one of a kind antique vintage pieces. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. We're about to head out, but I wanted to show y'all my outfit of the day. Very chill, very simple, nothing over the top, just because, again, like, honestly, I didn't even have much time to think through an outfit. But anyways, outfit of the day, I have on these boyfriend, like oversized boyfriend high rise, but kind of low rise on me because I got them oversized jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch. I think it's Abercrombie either Abercrombie or Hollister, can't really remember. Um, my top is just like this crop top wife beater from Aritzia. The jacket is the bomber jacket from, I think it's called The Clothing Store in Little Five Points. It's a vintage secondhand clothing store. So this is like an authentic fireproof bomber jacket. I showed it in my last vlog. And then for my shoes, I'm just wearing my Taz Uggs. When I tell y'all, I have been wearing these things out. Honestly, like this jacket and these Uggs, you will see them on me in different variations of different outfits all fall and all winter because I love these pieces and they're so easy to just throw on and just like mix and match with a bunch of stuff. So that's that. Um, my jewelry, my earrings are these from Etsy. They're kind of like old school gold hoops, if you will. My rings are my same rings that I always wear. Just my engagement ring, wedding band, and this little diamond ring right here from, I can't remember, but it is a black owned brand. I'll keep, I'll put it in the description box below. And then my everyday bag, which is my Louis Vuitton Neo Noe. So that is the outfit of the day and let's go antique vintage shopping.
collection here. We found our tree. Good afternoon, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, November 21st, and it is currently two o'clock on the dot. It's two o'clock on the dot, rolling my drop top, goodness jeans. I got a real pretty, pretty little lay at waiting for me. Anyways, hello and welcome to a new vlog. Um, if you are new here, welcome to this little corner of the internet. My name is Naki and I hope that you enjoy this vlog and join our family, our little community over here. And if you're not new, then welcome back. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing today and I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. Earlier today, I just ran some errands. Um, I meant to vlog, I brought my camera and then I turned my camera on and I realized my SD card was still at home. It was sitting at this desk right here. My camera was with me out and about. So I didn't vlog earlier today. I just have been running some errands and now I'm going to sit my behind down, turn on some jazz and edit a video because I actually just washed my hair yesterday. Y'all, when I, when I say I don't wash my sew-ins that often, I probably wait about every three weeks to wash my sew-ins, which is really the halfway point. I don't really keep my sew-ins for more than six weeks, which reminds me, I need to schedule a hair appointment in three weeks. I am hoping and praying that my stylist has something that opens up. So I've had this on for about three weeks and it was looking real, just oily. My leave out was stiff like not moving at all. So it was mostly my leave out that needed a good wash and refresh. So I went ahead and washed it and I did do a sew-in wash day routine that may go up before or after this video, I'm not sure. It actually, well, I kind of wanted this to go live on Thursday, but Thursday is Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll post it on Friday or something because I feel like on Thursday, everyone's kind of busy, but then also not busy because you're not working, you know? Like, do y'all watch YouTube on Thanksgiving? Do y'all watch, or like holidays in general, because there is like free time and downtime and you're not working. And I know like me, I don't cook. 
<laughs> I'm not that grown yet. I may be 32. I'm not that grown yet to where I can cook. Like the aunts, the uncles, my parents, like they still be cooking. They do the cooking. And all the cousins, although my oldest cousin is 40 or about to be 40. I'm not sure, but we still kids. <laughs> So is it the same for y'all or are y'all in the kitchen cooking and stuff? Like, are y'all actually making for real food for other people to eat? Because I, I can't be trusted, not yet. One day, but not two day. Anyways, I say all that to say that I will have a wash day routine up likely before this video goes up. In that video, I don't actually talk too much about the actual hair and I know that a lot of y'all have been asking about what hair is this, do I like it, all that kind of stuff. I wanted to see it through a wash day and me straightening it and doing all that before I gave y'all like a true honest synopsis of this hair. The company that I got this hair from is called Indique. I've gotten hair from there one time before and it was for a vacation and it was like this really big beautiful curly hair and i loved it so much and i was able to kind of just like twit like flat twist my hair and it blended pretty seamlessly when i like took the flat twist out just by happenstance i went and like got this hair okay it's from the pure collection and it is i want it's pure curly I am quite impressed with this hair. Like when when I say this hair looks really good, it looks really natural. My leave out blends really well with it other than the color, of course, which the next time I use this hair, I'm definitely gonna dye it before I have my uh, stylist install it. And yeah, just as you can see, like it's super full, it's super thick. It looks like pressed, like my pressed out hair, on a, except more full, of course, because my hair is not this thick. But as far as like texture is concerned, it very much looks like my hair when it's pressed out. If you have like 4C or a bit more like tighter of a curl or a more coarse texture of hair, I would definitely say like something like this is great. And I really prefer getting extensions that are already curly and then straightening them out versus getting hair that's already straight. There's something about getting hair that's curly that you straighten out that just makes you, my hair blend so much more seamlessly. And then also if I'm like in the rain or somewhere where it's super humid, this hair will also start to almost revert in a sense. And when my hair is also doing that, it still remains super seamless. The only downside that I will say about this hair is that because it is a much more coarse texture, it takes a lot more maintenance. It does get matted in the back just a little bit, not a crazy, crazy amount, nowhere near like a synthetic hair or something like that, but it definitely does get a bit more matted and just a bit more tangled. I don't get a lot of shedding, I get a lot of breakage. And I actually went ahead and trimmed this hair. I don't know if I recorded that or if I posted that, I be filming so much stuff and half of it never sees a lot of day. <laughs> I filmed it. I don't think I ever edited or posted it, but I did end up cutting layers into this just because it was way too long. And then also the split ends were like pretty intense on this. So I trimmed it and kind of put some layers in it. And I think that helped a little bit, but yeah, you're just, you're going to see a lot of hair, not shed, just kind of break if you will but the more moisturized you keep it and stuff like that i'm sure it would probably like break a lot less but it's literally not to the point that in my opinion like my hair looks any different over time like it still has the same fullness i really love this hair i will definitely be using it again crazy enough after i bought this hair and i got it installed and Dink sent me some hair um for free so i'm gonna be using this hair probably on my next sew-in. The texture that they sent me is called Tahitian Wave. So it's a bit less, I'd say like coarse and certainly a, a, a bit less curly than the hair that I have in my hair right now. But I do think it's still gonna blend pretty well just because it does have that wave. Like this is what I'm talking about. I love hair like this where it has a wave, it has a curl, it has some kind of texture. So they sent me three bundles of the 20 inch, I think these are all 20 inch. So I'm about to have me a little, a little buzz down cause y'all know I'm only 4'10". So it only takes about 20 inches <laughs> for something to be a buzz down on me. They did give me a code, I can't remember it off the top of my head. 
so i'm gonna put it in the description box and maybe i'll like pin a comment or something you know use my code save some money this is not at all sponsored literally none of this is sponsored they just happened to like send me some free hair and give me a code in case i wanted to share it with y'all again like i haven't used this hair yet but i've used this hair i've used another hair from indique before and i haven't been disappointed yet so i feel like i'm gonna like this one too and their hair lasts so long legit year plus that's my little hair review i'm gonna go ahead and edit now because one thing about me i'm gonna film for 17 minutes and 15 seconds like this right here what i'm not gonna do is edit if i don't force myself so i'm gonna edit i will see y'all later well later for me literally like in a second for y'all straighten it out there you go currently 11 22 in the morning and i'm just running to pont city market really quickly because i have an order from anthropology that i need to pick up y'all i've been doing a lot of shopping lately i'm really trying to do or not trying i am really doing like a full-on wardrobe overhaul i have had just such a really tough time with my closet lately and yeah, I made a whole video on this about like how I built my capsule wardrobe wrong, all this kind of stuff. And I have like thrown out a lot of clothes, but I haven't really gone about rebuilding my wardrobe. So that's what I'm really doing now. And I've been just kind of taking advantage of a lot of like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Really, it's like Black Week, kind of like Black Month, because some of these stores, some of these places have started doing sales the day after uh halloween so yeah i'm picking up a, a bag that i bought from anthropology i'll show y'all that later this morning i went and i worked out i've been doing super early morning workout which i think i've talked about this before but i switched trainers maybe like a month ago at this point and uh i try and get to the gym at like 6 15 i try sometimes i get there a little closer to 6 20 but I try to get to the gym by 6.15 every morning. Um, that way I can be done with my workout by like 7.30, 7.45. And yeah, I went to the gym this morning. Um, it was pretty empty today. And honestly, I mean, it's a, the day before Thanksgiving. So I, that was kind of expected. So I was her only client today. Typically it's like, you know, like small group, semi-private training where it's like five people at a time. But yeah, I was the only one this morning who showed up to work out. So that was a little nice. It was almost like a little, you know, private training session, if you will. I did that this morning, went home, showered, got dressed, all that kind of stuff, ate breakfast because your girl has not been staying on top of her meals and I am not going to gain weight if I don't eat. But I did at least eat breakfast and i'm about to drink this little thing as a snack if you're trying to gain weight and uh you have trouble eating or you just have like a really small appetite drink your calories at least drink your snack calories at least that's what i like to do i like to drink my snack calories and then eat a good two if it's a good day three hearty meals a day 
but um yeah i'm gonna drink this as my little snack this is like an owen only what you need vegan dairy free like meal replacement drink and it's 250 calories and 20 grams of proteins in this little bottle right here and this actually tastes good a lot of these don't taste good this actually actually tastes good dang it i was hoping to get the 30 minute complimentary parking but somebody's waiting for that parking already after this i am going to stop by target and then go home and we are going to decorate the tree put out the christmas decor because tomorrow's thanksgiving and i'm like i i want i kind of want the christmas decor to be up before thanksgiving you know and it's all just sitting there i just we just haven't like put it out and put it up what else i got for y'all oh i have been listening to this podcast on the sam bankman freed case it's called what's it called the trial of crypto crypto's golden boy something like that and um i love court case i don't know what it is so my sister's a lawyer i'm not really interested in like the whole like being a lawyer thing however i love watching court cases i will sit and i will watch full on testimonies like hour and 30 minute two hour three hour testimonies i am so intrigued with like people who commit crimes their experiences how they think how the victims think like just how um what, what's the other word what's the word i'm looking for how um the people who see how witnesses think how they recall situations it's just all very intriguing to me oh there's a spot it's all just very intriguing to me and yeah i've been listening to it and then eddie also told me that there is a youtube um like a documentary as well so i also want to watch that but y'all it's just so crazy how people commit crimes and don't think that they are gonna get caught but everything that happens in the dark look it's gonna come to light and it ain't gonna be pretty i need some new podcasts to listen to so let me know in the comments like podcasts and shows because i've been listening to this podcast and then as far as shows we've been watching what's the name of that show black mirror we've seen about 10 episodes that show is so creepy but i can't stop watching it it actually don't even make no sense like i don't i still don't understand half the time like halfway through an episode i'll be like what am i watching i am confusion like because it's just it's just very interesting stuff but also like kind of freaky how reflective it is of life today like real life it's just all very interesting some of the episodes i have not been able to get through some of the episodes at the end i'm like oh what did i just watch other episodes it's like this was really good so yeah but all the underlying messages for the most part are always like just very there's always like some truth to it and it kind of just makes you reflect on like dang society life technology how is life today versus like how life is going to be in the future as technological advances and ai and chat gbt and all these sorts of things grow and become more prominent and take over the world slick give me some podcast and show recommendations i feel like now that the writer strike and the actor strike is over hopefully we start getting some new shows early next year because netflix i feel like has been really dry lately really all streaming platforms and television channels and stuff have been kind of dry other than like reality tv so what are some really good scripted shows that y'all are watching let me know but yeah i need to go in because i'm in 30 minute complimentary parking and i'm not trying to get a boot so i'm gonna run in run out and be on my way i i don't need to get caught up shopping sephora is literally right here across from me i'm not gonna do it I'm not going to do it.
All right. Or I could just get like this. This is also an option. Is this easier or one shoulder? What? Is one shoulder easier or like this? Oh, definitely both. You ready? Yes. All right. Oh, don't miss leg day, fellas. <laughs> okay. All right, step back. Let's make sure it's not crooked before I get down. Back some more. Is it crooked or is it straight? It's straight. Looks straight. All right. Kind of look kind of small for this tree. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, I think it could have been bigger. Definitely should have been bigger, but whatever. Should I bring it down? No, I can't bring it down any. Okay. It's fine to me. All right. I like it. Are you good? Um, yep. Happy Thursday and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Today is Thursday, November 23rd. Y'all are sitting a little low today, a little low right now because I have y'all on my smaller tripod just because my other tripod is just really big. I didn't feel like dealing with it this morning. Um, but yeah, it's currently 11 o'clock. I've been up since about maybe eight or so this morning um so i've just kind of been hanging out it's been a pretty chill day um i just ate some breakfast and i don't know oh that's what i've been doing i've been watching this this documentary on youtube the one i told y'all about yesterday and it's called ruin money ego and deception at ftx so it's like the whole sam bankman freed documentary about how the company started the whole journey and i don't think i've gotten to like the demise part but i'm sure it's going to cover that part that's what I've been doing today. Thanksgiving for my family, like we're not starting until four o'clock. That's when we're supposed to be at my mom's house. Um, so we'll probably leave here around like 3.30 or so. So yeah, that's really it for the day. Oh, I did wanna show y'all what I got from Anthropology really quickly. And I also got some leggings from Amazon that I want to show y'all. But from Anthropology, I actually purchased two bags from there. But one of them I did pick up. The other one they didn't have in store. So I ordered that one online. But this is the bag that I picked up from uh, Anthropology. It's like a little Bottega dupe. And I am obsessed with the color. Look at this. As soon as I saw it in the store, I was like, oh, I have to have this. I have to have this because I've been trying to incorporate or I've been wanting to incorporate more red into my wardrobe. So when I saw this, I was like, this is a nice sort of almost neutral way of adding red to my wardrobe because it is a much more sort of like deep, richer tone of red is very much giving just like a deep burgundy color. So yeah, and then it's also super soft as well. It was, I wanna say maybe 30% off Anthropology is doing, I, I believe, 30% off of pretty much everything in their store for Black Friday. Uh, but of course, everybody's doing their Black Friday sales early. So I got to pick this up yesterday. So I picked that up. I think I'm gonna, if I don't wear it today, I'll probably just like put some gift wrap paper in the top and put it under, under the tree and kind of save it as a gift for myself for Christmas. And then I also picked up some leggings from Amazon. I am a Lululemon Align girl. Love Lululemon Align. I have a good number of pair of just black Lulu Align le leggings. Those are my go-to leggings. But when I tell y'all, I don't know what's going on, but all my leggings are pilling. I can't even use my deep pillar because even if I get rid of the like the white balls, it's still kind of textured if that makes any sense. I'm not really sure, but I'm just kind of overspending that much money on leggings just for them to pill. And granted, I've had them for a really long time, so I guess it's kind of expected, but I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm just not feeling it right now. Literally every single one of my Lulu Align leggings 
are peeling. But what's odd is that the insides are not peeling, the outsides are peeling. And I wash them inside out, I wash them on delicate, I wash them in a laundry bag or like a little, I think it's called a laundry bag, just the little mesh bag that you put delicate items in and I air dry them. I never put them in the dryer. So I'm a little confused because I feel like I'm taking care of them and I am doing my due diligence to make sure that they maintain the quality. But for some reason, they're just continuing to peel and it's to the point where you can kind of see it from far away. That was long winded, but I say all that to say that I have been just kind of experimenting with trying to find leggings. I tried to, I tried the Skims soft smoothing or soft smooth leggings uh, because I love the soft smoothing shirts. They're two different materials, which I was very confused about. They're very much like thick stockings and they're very see-through. These are called, I wanna say like Utaski or something. What is the brand of these? Let's see. They're called, oh, Ucasti. This is the brand. They're called Ucasti. Looks like that. And I picked up two pairs. So I picked up this brown pair. I'm returning these because if it actually, I feel like it actually looks better on camera, but it's giving ashy brown. It's not giving rich, deep chocolate brown. So I'm returning these. I got these in a size extra small or like a size two in the 25 length. And then I picked up just a regular black pair. And these are also in like an extra small slash two. And these are a 23 length. I tried them on this morning. I will say there's a lot more compression on these versus the Lulu Align. So I don't, there's just something about the Lulu Align that I think is really good for every day because it's buttery soft. They're compressive, but they're not super compressive as if you're working out, you know? So they like, they'll hold you together but they're still very movable, if that makes any sense. These don't really give me that. First off, the material is not super buttery soft like the Lulu Align. And then, yeah, they're just a lot more compressive. I do like them. The main reason I really like these is because there is no seam in the front. So you do have a seam on like the hip line, of course, but going down the front, there's no seam. And that just to me looks a lot cleaner. I don't know y'all. What what are some good leggings? Give me some good leggings brands. Does Aritzia have any? Because I wear black leggings a, a solid three or four times a week. And I really, really, really need some good quality, long lasting leggings. So yeah, let me know if y'all have any brand product recommendations for like really good black leggings because your girl is in need. And then I also wanted to show y'all my Christmas tree. So we put the Christmas tree up yesterday. And yeah, I just don't think y'all got like the best look of it yesterday. So yeah, this is what we are working with. It looks so stinking good. I can't deal. These little ones from Target are so cute. Like I love this chocolatey brown one. The way that these little snowflakes and these icicles just came together so well on the tree. I mean, I truly think when it comes to just the design and the concepting of what I wanted the tree to look like this year, I certainly redeemed myself from last year, but y'all let me know. I think it looks really good. And also, as y'all can see, we decided to go with the, uh, what is that thing called? Like a tree collar, like the little basket tree collar instead of the tree skirt, just because the tree skirt just felt like not warm enough or not cozy enough. There's something about it that was just a, a bit too white and bright. So yeah, we decided to go with the sort of like wicker basket tree collar instead. And I am obsessed when it's dark and we turn on the Christmas tree and we have like the fire going. It is such a vibe. <laughs> 